understanding how his father came up with the concept of parallel universes is going to be tricky because science was never Mark's strong point. I only have a very, very vague understanding of my father's theory. It gets up to a certain point and it becomes like impenetrable. And then it gets into the scientist language, which is like, it's like a different alphabet. However, its theory was so original that it set him on a collision course with the most brilliant minds of the physics world. According to Mark's father, with every choice and decision we make, with every event in our life that could happen in more ways than one, universes branch off. From the laser apparatus, single photons fire off one at a time. The individual particles then arrive at a plastic barrier with two narrow slits. On the other side is a sensitive TV camera to film where the photons end up. And so the photons will hit the film. What do you expect? You expect will hit two spots here, like that, or you expect the photon will go all over the map. What do you expect? We have two slits here. The choices are all over the map, or, or just those two just spots? Or just two spots, yeah. yeah. Uh, just the two spots? Exactly. Mark is using his common sense. Imagine this experiment was blown up to a much larger scale so that the particles are tennis balls. And a machine is firing the tennis balls at a barrier with two gaps in it. Of course, you'd expect to find the balls hitting the back wall in two places, in line with the two slits. But, when our experiment is done with individual photons from the laser, something very different happens. A series of vertical smudges appear. To make sense of this pattern, you need to look at it from the perspective of a single photon. This photon is landing in a place on the back wall that would be physically impossible if it were travelling straight through just one of the slits. So, the only explanation is that the particle has gone through both slits simultaneously. By the time it reaches the back wall, it has come together again as one photon. Multiply this single photon a thousandfold, and you have the distinctive pattern that Mark saw. Think about it. A photon arrives at the slits in a hell of a quantum state and travels through both. A single object is in two places at once. And it's not just photons that behave like this. The double slit experiment has been replicated with electrons and with atoms. But we are made up of atoms. So, atoms can be in two places at the same time. Why can't we? Oh, oh, oh.